so guys I've called 911 like three times tonight because I've seen four different cars in ditches and I reported two of them at the same time so I've called three times this black ice is not playing around and these people I guess they don't know how to drive on this black ice or the road they probably think it's just nothing but it's 10 degrees out here and you can see the you see that in front of me that black stuff right there in front on this camera that is black ice you see how it's getting lighter it's disappearing that's good i'm glad i hope it's just good to totally disappear and don't come back but i know it's going to come back because it's been on the road pretty much for the last 30 40 miles but these people drive on this highway and they're they flying by me. I'm, I'm driving 45, 50 miles an hour. I'm not going to be flying up this road because even though this truck is loaded and it's heavy and I'm glad that it is because the heavier, the better, you, you know, the, the, the more it's gonna hug the road. But these cars and trucks fly by 60, 70 miles an hour and they hit this black ice and this black ice you have no control over your vehicle literally your your vehicle can just slip this is very slick stuff it's, you can even slip and fall on it if you're walking on it but they drive on this stuff and then when they hit it, it ain't, the first thing they do is panic and try to match their brakes that's the that's the exact absolute wrong thing to do you should not ever match your brakes on black ice because all you're going to do is slide and you're going to get sideways and you're going to go off the road you're going off the road you're going in a ditch or you're going wherever you're going you're not going to stay on the road with this black ice and brakes so the best thing for you to do is if you feel your car moving just slowly let off the accelerator and let the car gradually slow itself down do not try to do not try to break and do not be following anybody closely do not follow behind anybody closely on these types of roads in these types of conditions because if they suddenly get out of control and try to hit match their brakes you're going to try to stop to avoid hitting them and guess what's going to happen you're going to start to slide and lose control because you're not going to be able to stop so keep a safe safe distance like double your following distance because you do not want to get sideways on this stuff you're like see this, this here's a truck coming by me you you think i'm going to speed up you think i'm going to go faster I'm gonna, see him i'm gonna let him go ahead he can go right on by he can fly by let him he can have it because guess what i've seen big trucks like that in the media in the ditches on their sides because they want to fly in these kind of conditions now, i don't know where he gotta be but i can guarantee you it's not that important that he gotta be riding 70 and 75 miles an hour in this stuff right here it's just not that important you're not gonna see me riding that bad. See, and there's another car in the ditch, right here. Boom, covered with snow. Covered, a truck. Covered with snow. Because they wanna fly around. Now, I done called the police like three, I think, yeah, three times I called the police. But it was for four different vehicles. And I may have to call for that one. Maybe it looked like somebody already took care of that one, but you never know. Cause it's, it's 10 degrees out here and the wind is blowing like crazy. So if somebody's in that car and it's not operating, that means they can't run the heater, which means they stand a good chance of freezing to death tonight if they're in the car. They could be unconscious, it could be anything. But yeah, that's what's going on. I'm not speeding in this stuff. I just, I'm not. 
not me. And I'm a good driver. I'm a, I consider myself to be an excellent driver. But this is the type of stuff you have to respect. If you don't respect it, it'll make you respect it. So you have to literally respect this stuff, man, because you can easily get sideways in this. And once you get sideways in this, and ain't no, don't even think about correcting it, it's not gonna happen. You're going to be in a ditch or, or, or in the media. You may turn over, you may roll your truck over. So yeah, safe speed, double your following distance. That way if anything happens, you can safely slow down and come to a stop, pull over because somebody else coming behind you, they may panic and slam on their brakes and then they're gonna start sliding and possibly slide right into you. So make sure you pull over to the side of the road so you can get completely out of the way, out of the line of fire and then if you can help the, help the person that slid off the road or or call the police and let them know to come and help because you also don't want to be getting out of your vehicle trying to go and help nobody in these conditions and somebody come and run you know slide and slide right into you and kill you or injure you really badly out here and on this highway so yeah, let the professionals come out and do their jobs in, in the event that anything happens like that. And I know it's got to be scary for people to slide out of control. I know it is. You know, because, um, yeah, it, it's just scary. But just, you know, to prevent that, to avoid it, like, here go, here's another truck, a pickup and a car. And another vehicle that's three cars like right back to back let me see what mile marker this is so i can call the police this is um so i gotta tell them about the three cars in the ditch right there My mile marker let's see see this road is nothing to play with that's three more cars so in total, I've seen probably 10 cars in the ditch. I'm going to call again. Let me see. This is mile marker 135. So, yeah. Let me go ahead and call them. And I'll, I'll resume this video. There's another car. Right there. Right after mile marker 